hi whoa whoa well hello my friends and welcome back to my channel today is a highly requested video day i am going to be talking about what is in my dang bag you guys i have done a what's in my bag video before on this particular bag i've got stuff sticking out um this is a coach bag that i got several several years ago um, let me find out which bag this is. Give me just a second. Okay, is it odd that I still have like the price tag on this? All right, so it's called the, I believe it was called the Patent Leather Jordan Double and then something else. And it's in the color Saddle. Um, I will show you guys this if you're interested. Like I said, whoops. Like I said, I got this several, several years ago. So, um, yeah, I don't know. And I can't remember if I got this at like an outlet or I I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think I might have gotten it at the Coach Outlet. It's held up really well. I really like it. Um, so let's talk about the actual bag for just a moment. So I have this little guy, which is not part of the bag. I'm not even going to take it off. It's such a pain in the butt. This is from Belkin, and it is a phone charger. Um, like it has the USB port or yeah, USB port. That's what it is. Yeah. USB port. And then it also has like a little lightning cable for my iPhone. And then in the very front, I have a couple of things I have. Oh, I've got more things. Hold on. I'm going to like put this down. I've got my home things in my front little pocket. So this is the, um, paint color that you see right here. This is Popular Gray by uh, Sherwin-Williams. That's what I painted my whole house in. My flooring on my main level is from Lowe's. It's this. It's called Burnished Oak Fawn. Yep. And then this is my sofa color from um, Ethan Allen. It's called Haley Natural. So I use these a lot when I'm doing home shopping. And I just kind of hold it up to stuff to make sure that it's going to coordinate properly. So I really like that. And I, like I said, I just keep it in like this little front pocket right here. It just gets tucked away nicely. When you look into the bag, it's like a hot mess right now, but there are these like zipper things on either side. And I think I used to use these a lot. And then now I just like don't use them. Um, but this goes like the whole length down of the purse, which is kind of neat um i don't think i have anything no i have nothing in either of them but it'd be a nice place to conceal things if you want to conceal things um and then on the back side there's also like another slip pocket just like the front i don't have anything currently in there so let's get into the inside of the bag which is kind of a mess right now because um the other day i did a little bit of returns so i have my receipts and stuff from that so I have my return receipt from Joann's that I can get rid of. I also have my return receipt from Bed Bath & Beyond that has my address on it, so I'm not going to show you, but it's right here. <laughs> and um, all right, so let's get into this. I've got my keys. I also have my mittens because... It's winter time in Minnesota still, even though it's already after the first day of spring, but it snowed yesterday, so gotta have mittens. Um, all right, and then I have this Michael Kors wallet. I got this several years ago. Um, I know I looked up for this print a while ago and I couldn't find it, but if I can find something similar, I will link it below. If I can find the bag too, I'll link, I'll link whatever I can find below for you guys. Um, but this has like a nice gold plate on it, just says Michael Kors established 1981 which is also my birth year so yay um and i just like this it's nice and it's got like um enough like pockets for me to use things and i don't know i just i just like having a smaller wallet it just serves me well and the nice thing is if i need to just like run into the store or like run into the post office i just loop this around my wrist and then i just walk in with that so makes life a little bit easier for me. Also, I was at Target, um, gosh, almost a week ago. I haven't looked in my purse in a while, you guys. And they were giving out samples of either like 
an Axe, I think, body wash or this. It was the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser. So it was free. So I picked up one of them. It was nice. So I don't know. The girl there was just giving away samples. I'm like, okay, thanks. Um, also from Target is this little clear plastic, I don't know, like toiletries container. Um, I'll go through like what's in it real quick. So I've got some ibuprofen. Oh my gosh, this is gonna get messy. Hold on, let me put, let me put these on the little table over here. I've got some hand cream, chapstick. Randomly, I have my extra key, but with no key. I just have like my extra remote start. Pens and markers, feminine hygiene things. I've got a little hair tie. This little thing is just like a device cleaner to clean your eyeglasses or your cell phone or something like that. So I'm gonna put all this back minus the um, remote start thing because that shouldn't be in here, but I think it was just put in there because I didn't have any other place to put it at the time. <laughs> all right, so now, the contents of the big opening are is, is all empty. Right here is just my garage door opener. So I have that in here. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, another pen. This is a, a Sharpie marker. All right, so we're good on that. And then in here, there's more things. So let's go through them. Um, more feminine hygiene things. More Advil. <laughs> more pens. Goodness. Um, and then I have, this is like a little power brick thing for charging your phone. I've got another hair tie. <laughs> um, this is like some Dayquil for cold and flu. I've got another lip balm. And then the last thing I have is my price tag thing from Coach. <laughs> And that is it that's in my entire bag. I know you guys have always been really curious about this bag and which bags I use. Um, I think right after this, I'm gonna film a handbag collection. I don't have a ton of handbags, but I think people are just curious, so why not show and share? But this is my kind of go-to bag for all year round. Um, I have a couple crossbodies that I really enjoy in the summer just to kind of have my hands free, but this, I do enjoy, and then I just kind of hold it like this. I actually hold it like, I mean, I don't walk around like this, but I like kind of hold it like, you know, right around my elbow here. Um, but yeah, or just kind of grasp it in my hands. Like I said, I've had it for years. There's really no wear and tear on the straps or anything. So I think it's held up pretty good considering. Um, there is like this little, these things, I don't really know what this is supposed to be for. It just kind of dangles and sometimes it slides into there. I don't know, I don't really care how it looks. It just kind of does its own thing. But this is the only kind of add-on thing that I did. The colors aren't perfect, but I still really like them. So yeah, that's what's all in my bag, you guys. I know you all have been like extra curious about this and everything. Uh, feel free to thumbs up the video if you liked what's in my bag. Maybe I'll do another what's in my bag when I like switch things out because I do tend to change certain things. And there's certain things that like just stay in the bag too, like all the stuff that I just showed, like all of this stuff um, kind of just stays in that bag. But um, maybe I need to make a better habit about not doing that. <laughs> So anyways, that is it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will be back very soon with a full handbag collection. There's not a ton of designer stuff in there. Um, there's some pretty basic things as well, but I really enjoy all the ones that I have. And I've really pared down my collection over the years. I used to kind of be a little bit more handbag crazy in my 20s, but now I've kind of pared down a little bit. I still have quite a few, but um, hopefully that video will be up in the near future for you guys. So feel free to subscribe, hit the little bell if you want notifications. I'm not on like a posting schedule or anything, so I just post when the videos are ready. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.